Again, we are back with another project which is not good enough to make it onto the main channel. For this, we are going to need sodium fluoride and hydrochloric acid. Anything else that you see is just for neutralizing the resulting hydrofluoric acid. To protect one piece of the glass to see how bad the etching is really going to be, I put a piece of sticky tape onto it and then wipe the rest of the glass with MTBE to remove any residual fats. To start off, I first place the glass slides into a plastic dish. Glass can obviously not be used because the hydrofluoric acid would attack it. Then I added some sodium fluoride. In the presence of an acid such as hydrochloric or even sulfuric acid, sodium fluoride liberates some hydrofluoric acid. Because hydrofluoric acid is a really weak acid and even the reaction with glass takes a long time, I placed the lid on top of it, labeled it appropriately and let it stand for a few days. After a few days had passed, I made a calcium chloride solution. Why calcium chloride? Well, calcium chloride reacts with hydrofluoric acid and sodium fluoride to form insoluble calcium fluoride, which is not dangerous. I'm not going to stick my fingers into the hydrofluoric acid to get it out, even though I'm wearing gloves. I used a pair of pliers to get out the glass slide and wash it down using some distilled water. It would have been better to place the glass slide on top of the sodium fluoride solution because I put in the sodium fluoride on top of the glass plate and this led to the etching being very uneven. You can have a look at the glass slide. It's been etched pretty badly but when you take another pair of pliers and scrape at it, you can see that this stuff came off. These are silicates and after washing the glass plate appropriately another time while wearing gloves, I was confident to touch it and to present it to you again. And there you go, we etched some glass. It doesn't look very beautiful, but if you used concentrated hydrofluoric acid, which is even more dangerous, you could even dissolve the entire piece. This was still a fun project. I would appreciate if you like and subscribe, because it helps me stay motivated, and I wish all of you a great day. See you in the next video.